Hello, my name is Georgia, and I'm 22 years old. Were your friends ever envious of you? I live in one of the sunniest cities in America, Los Angeles, and I have always been the center of attention. But I have a problem. Everybody considers me a foolish beauty. When I was little, it was normal for me that everyone who saw me admired my appearance. No matter what I said or did, grown-ups just always repeated, Oh, how cute you are! Sometimes I even took advantage of it, asked strangers to buy me an ice cream, or took other boys' toys that I liked. But as I grew up, it started to strain me. I understood that my beauty is not really a gift, but a punishment. Nobody saw the real me. Everyone only saw my beautiful eyes, silky hair, and long legs. In despair, I even thought I was cursed, and I called this the princess curse. However, I didn't even imagine what awaited me in the future. In school, all the guys were crazy about me. Every one of them felt obliged to approach me or at least whistle at me when I passed by. This is so annoying, let me tell you. What else is she good for besides her appearance, they thought. The thing is, no matter how thoroughly I would study, crammed the books from cover to cover, I was still getting bad grades. I couldn't write anything properly. I didn't even see my mistakes. I didn't want to accept that I am a dummy, even though every exam proved it. However, the worst was still ahead. The fact that I couldn't get into university really affected me. My folks could not understand what was wrong with me, especially as they hired the best private teachers. Finally, they took me to a doctor, and it turned out that I have progressive dyslexia. Can you imagine? All this time I had a psychological disorder that did not allow me to study properly. For me, it manifests itself precisely in the fact that I don't see my mistakes pathologically. And every year it's getting worse. I can mix up the letters in a word, and even if I reread it 30 times, I'll still fail to see it. It's a pity I found out about my dyslexia so late, but what could I do? I decided not to tell a single soul about my peculiarity. I didn't want to be gossiped about. But of course, my parents knew about that, as well as my best friend, Kate. I trusted her more than myself. Kate helped me so much. She supported me, said she would help me with everything I needed, and that I could always count on her. I was so lucky to have her. Still cannot understand how us two so different can remain best friends. I'm a pretty blonde girl, and Kate, with a piercing and tattoos, looks like a rocker. But friendship will beat it all, won't it? I got a job as a specialist in a manicure at a beauty salon. The job wasn't that complicated. And the plus was that I was a walking promo for the salon. All the customers wanted the same hair color as I had, the same makeup, and of course, the same manicure. The princess curse in action. Though that day changed my whole life. A guy came to me for a manicure. I simply fell in love with him as soon as he sat in front of me. He was so cool that all the guys who were before him seemed like a hot dog in a restaurant with a Michelin star. My knees started shaking, and I immediately realized that I would do anything for this guy. His name was Jaden, and he was the soloist in a rock band. All his body was covered with tattoos, and he needed to have all of his nails painted black for his concert. We talked for a while, and it seemed like he also had a crush on me. He proposed to exchange phone numbers, and I happily agreed. And later on, in the evening, he wrote to me by messenger. I answered him with a smile emoji because I was terrified of writing something wrong. On the next day, he phoned me and invited me to his concert. I jumped almost to the ceiling. I think even if I had to walk a 100,000 miles over a stone road, I could manage to do this for him. Finally, I liked a guy who liked me and drove me crazy from the first seconds. But my happiness didn't last long. At the concert, I looked like a black sheep as I wasn't dressed like a rocker. Neither I had a single tattoo. And guess who met me there? Yes, Kate. I was so happy to see her. My friend was very surprised when she saw me at such a place. I told her about Jaden and she simply couldn't believe that I knew the soloist personally. And then she kind of got upset, 
or it seemed to me. Turned out, Jaden played in a pretty famous band, and as I was more into pop music, I simply didn't know. I even got jealous when a bunch of fangirls ran to the stage to hug him. This got me even more upset, and I started to want him just for myself, all of him. To my fortune, he really crushed on me too. He gave me his hand from the stage, and when I got up, he kissed me in front of everybody. Kate was astonished. After that, we started dating. However, do you think my happiness lasted long? You won't believe what I did. At first, everything was amazing. For the first time, I didn't feel like a fool. Jaden admired everything I did. It was important to him who I was and not how I looked. And also, this was my favorite thing. He was never worried that other guys were after me, as he himself was pretty popular among girls. Really, everything turned against me. Now I started to get jealous of him, and quite often. In the beginning, I liked his popularity, but later on, it started to annoy me. Jaden was calm about the fact that girls ran up to him on the streets and asked for an autograph on their belly or hips. One girl even asked him to sign on her chest, and he agreed. He reassured me that this is normal, that he had to maintain an image of a rock star, but I saw the girls' glances on him. In their eyes, I saw confusion. Why is this god hanging on with her? She's not for him. I felt like a tender sheep with an evil wolf. I shared my doubts with Kate, and she confirmed them. Kate said that my appearance didn't fit Jaden's, and this badly affected his image. She even mentioned that if we split up, it would be better for everyone. I didn't really understand what she meant. Meanwhile, Kate advised me to try and become a girl that Jaden would like. I quickly remembered that he was always a fan of the tattoo master Kat Von D. You won't believe it, but I have never seen her photo before. When I found Kat Von D on Instagram, I felt totally awful. I don't look like her at all. How could Jaden even love me? I thought. I started asking him what he would like to change in me, but he always answered that he liked me just as I was. I hardly believed those words. What a fool I was. And then this happened. Jaden wrote a song called A Hundred Tattoos on Your Body. I didn't understand the song very well, but he told me that the song was about love. All the girls around were screaming of the lyrics and said that it is the most romantic thing they ever heard. What is wrong with me? was the question I kept asking myself. But one day at the cafe, when he went to the bathroom, there was Jaden's phone on the table. Messages started to pop up one after another on the messenger. Some fan was constantly writing to him. But I couldn't understand half of the words and got angry. But I decided not to tell him anything. I must act, I thought, and suddenly an idea came to me. The next day, Kate and I went to a tattoo salon. I took all my savings and decided to get a hundred tattoos with the name Jaden, just like in his song. A crazy act, you would say. But I didn't care then. I believed that Jaden would be amazed by that, and then he would love me forever. Kate also assured me that this would be very romantic. My friend suggested getting a couple of tattoos also on my face, besides the body. Come on, Georgia, it will be super cool. He will surely appreciate such a gift, she said. But I thought it was a bit too much, so the tattoo master suggested me to get a henna tattoo on my face with his name. I wrote Jaden's name on a paper and asked Kate to double check for any errors. She confirmed that everything was okay and we handed the paper to the tattoo master. I requested her to write with fine traces and in cursive so that would look tender and cool. The whole session took around four hours, and it didn't even hurt that much, as the needle was so thin that she didn't need to hit twice on the same spot. The master that did the tattoo was really professional and did everything pretty quick and fine. Wow, I couldn't believe it. There were exactly a hundred tattoos with the name of my beloved one. I simply felt delightful. Jaden should have appreciated it for sure, a hundred percent. My act was a declaration of my love. So I invited Jaden to my place for a romantic dinner. I dressed in a light tunic, put on a cat mask, and turned on his new song. He liked my game, but I told him that the best surprise was still ahead. We drank a little wine, and he hugged me. This is the moment of the surprise, I thought. 
so I took off the mask and got rid of the tunic. Jaden was shocked. He blushed, then turned white and pushed me away. Who the hell is Jason? He shouted with anger. I didn't understand what he meant, but he just left and slammed the door. I cried all night long. Turned out that because of my dyslexia, I failed to write his name correctly. Instead of Jaden, I wrote Jason. Kate lied to me. She didn't check the name I wrote on the paper at the tattoo salon. Or did she do that on purpose? But what for? On the next day, I tried to call Jaden, but he kept declining my call. I sent him a bunch of audio messages, but he didn't listen to a single one. I was so disappointed. I phoned Kate and asked her to come over. I think she suspected the reason for my call, but there was no regret on her face. You always got the best guys, but Jaden, this is too much. He is my dream. I would fly to Mars and go into the Marianas Trench for him, or to the crater of a volcano. But you are the one who got him. You don't deserve him. Kate set me up on purpose. I kicked her out of my house. I could hardly believe that she betrayed me because of jealousy. I won't be able to trust my friends anymore. Take a look at your friends. It's possible you also didn't realize that they were jealous of you. If you ever had something similar, write it down for me in the comments. Fortunately, I could remove the henna tattoo a couple of days later, but the other tattoos remained on my body, and I don't know what to do with them. I think I'll save some money and turn them into something else. Maybe some roses? Do you have any ideas? I would love to tell Jaden about my dyslexia, but I am so ashamed. Do you get it? Ashamed of saying, the way I am? Besides, what if he doesn't even believe me? Jaden doesn't pick up the phone, doesn't listen to my audio messages, and doesn't answer on social networks. I have thought of going to his concert to meet with him and explain everything, but he may not even come up to me. I so want it all back. After all, I love him more than anything in the world. Look at how my body looks like now. I sent this story here, hoping that Jaden or some one of his friends will see it and tell him about it. Honey, if you hear me, I love you and please forgive me. If this channel helps me to get my love back, I promise that I will change one of my tattoos into Dory Story. So please help me to share this story. Share it with friends. Click like and subscribe to this channel.